guys, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, we will talk about taxol and how the functional groups and chiral centers play an important role in taxol. So, before that, let's find out why taxol is considered so important in medicinal chemistry. Taxol, the common name is also paclitaxel. It is very potent and very powerful anti-cancer drug. Mainly, it is used for treating some solid tumors. And also, it can be used, it is proven to be useful in treatment of specifically breast and ovarian cancer. And of course, there are attempts and trials going on to find out which other cancers it may be effective. So that makes Taxol a very important medicinal drug. Now, going back to the structure of Taxol, what is the unique features which we have in Taxol that makes it a good important medicinal drug? One other thing is functional groups. Taxol has multiple functional groups and we will identify those groups. Taxol also has multiple chiral centers and that makes it unique because of multiple chiral centers synthesis of taxol is problematic and we will talk about that later in different video so here is the structure of taxol pretty complicated there are so many rings and so many functional groups let's start identifying one by one each group and i'm going to start first of all with oh and I got a couple of hydroxide group OH there. And in organic chemistry, we call these groups as alcohol groups. The next group here is a unique group. It is carbonyl connected to NH. And that is called as an amide group. Now keep in mind, it's very easy to get confused with a carbonyl group. Carbonyl group can appear in a ketone, it can also appear as an acid and also an ester group. So what we have here, couple of those are going to be ester groups, COO. The one element which is not shown is carbon here. Look at that. this one again is going to be an ester. Did you find out another one? There is one more ester here and it's also another ester. So all these functional groups are esters. Okay. Next one, this is just a carbonyl group and that is a ketone. Now do you see over here there is just oxygen connected to two carbon. So what is that group? That is going to be an ether. And there is one more remaining. Look at this. This is a double bond. So that is an alkene. So there you go. We got multiple functional groups in taxol. That's a beauty. Now before we identify the chiral centers in taxol, let's revisit what is chirality. So optical isomers are the one which must have at least one chiral center and then these drugs will exist in two or more isomeric form which we call as in enantiomers. so they will have different properties and different activities the example here is already shown in my previous video so what we have is thalidomide and it is a mirror image of each other so they cannot be superimposed so let's revisit taxol and find out which are the chiral centers for taxol. So let's find out the chiral centers present in taxol. And what you have to look for is carbon atom that is bonded to four different groups or atoms. Sometimes it could be two rings, separate rings, or sometimes it could be same ring attached in two different directions. So if you go clockwise versus anti-clockwise direction, that same ring will appear as if there are two separate groups. So let's begin with our first carbon and I can clearly see that one is a chiral carbon atom. 
Now there is an hydrogen atom which is not shown over here. Remember, hydrogen atom is not a must. You don't have to show hydrogen atom in the figure. It's understood. Let's move on to the next one. Over here again, there will be a hydrogen atom which is not shown. So that makes that carbon also a chiral. Keep on moving on. When we come over here, we find one more chiral atom, carbon atom, because that's hydrogen. This will not be chiral because there's a CH2 group there. So that will have symmetry. When we come to this one, already you can see there is one side OH, one side is this ring, one side the other group and you also got an ester group coming out from the other side. So it takes some time to identify but once you figure out there are four different groups, you're going to mark that as a chiral center. Alright, how about the next one here? Yes, that is a chiral center because there is a hydrogen which is not shown there. How about moving to the next one? Is that a chiral center? Yes, clearly it is a chiral center. How about this one? Yes, that is a chiral center. Look at the small ring which we got here. Definitely that is a chiral center. And one more. There's a hydrogen which is not shown there. Then let's keep on moving. How about this one? Yes, that is a chiral center too. And there's also one more which is remaining. So I believe we hopefully got all the chiral center. Let's check whether we got all of them. So let's count. That's one, two, that's three, four, five, that's six, this is seven, eight, nine, ten, and that is eleven. And that's correct. Taxol has eleven chiral carbon atoms. So that makes it very unique. So it is very challenging to actually synthesize this compound in labs. It takes multiple steps and every step may yield some impurities there. So we will talk about the challenges in synthesizing isolating taxol later in next video. But right now in this video what you learn is how taxol plays an important role in medical world and how many functional groups it got and also how many look at that 11 chiral centers in taxol so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you again in next video until then bye bye